Most of us drummers have a lot of different grooves that we've been doing for years. The thing about off-time rhythms is that we all can do off-time rhythms. They just have to be unlocked mentally. I do a groove that I call echo, where I play, I play the groove and I allow my snare drum to kind of, you know, echo over the beat. It might echo in 4-4, four, four, it might echo in 3-4. Um, but what makes it off-time is when you add your kick to your echo. Let me show you. That's called the echo. I played the beat, I allowed the snare to establish the foundation of the echo, playing the triplets, and then I added the kick. So you may do several grooves where your snare might do something tricky, or your left hand or right hand might do something tricky. Just tell your brain to add your kick to that, or maybe add your snare to that, and it's a whole nother new way of life. It's a new off-time rhythm that you didn't even know about. It's all with math and placement, and like I said again, dynamics. So we've established the one, the foundation. We've spoken about switcheroos and the substitutions, and now we have echoes. Echo, 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 one, two, three. Let's get into the echo system. Not the ecosystem, but the echo system. Let's have some fun, and I'm gonna try this track, and let's just try different echoes. Now, the thing about the echo is you can't just leave your hi-hat totally hang it. You have to play your hi-hat. Switch over with your left hand if you can, or you might want to go to your right. Um, I can show you, but it's fun. Echo system. <laughs> 